The University of South Carolina Beaufort offers bachelor degrees in 15 areas of study, including their nationally acclaimed hospitality management program. With access to all of the festivals and events on Hilton Head Island and in the entire Lowcountry, it's no surprise why their hospitality management program is such a success. We had an opportunity to learn more about USCB's hospitality management program at this year's RBC Heritage when they were featured in one of WHHI-TV's special programs. As you all know, the RBC Heritage is the area's largest event that comes to Hilton Head with over 135,000 in attendance. The hospitality management program at the University of South Carolina Beaufort is an integral part of this event. I had a chance to speak with the head of the hospitality management program, Dr. Charlie Calvert. Dr. Calvert, let's talk about USCB's involvement at the RBC Heritage. Well, we've, Debbie, we've had a long-standing relationship with um, volunteer management at the Heritage, uh, really for the, over the past 15 years. Uh, this year, we'll have students volunteering and helping out with the event. We'll also be conducting research through our Lowcountry Resort Islands Tourism Institute, run by Dr. John Salazar, one of my colleagues. And we'll also be assisting with catering, and that's going to be run by Dr. Sean Barth, who is in our food and beverage side of the house. Well, the hospitality management program students at USCB really are hands-on then at these events. But you also have a new center for event management and hospitality training that's on Hilton Head, and that provides even more learning opportunities outside of the classroom. Please tell us about that. Sure, I'd like to tell you about our new institute. It's actually a collaboration between the town of Hilton Head Island and USCB. Um, our main purpose is to make sure that those individuals who visit Hilton Head Island continue to have an excellent and superior experience. Uh, through the Institute, we're going to work on about three things. Firstly, we will be providing volunteers for current events that are on the island throughout the year. Uh, secondly, we're going to uh, provide Hilton Head Island as a destination for event management education, certificates and short courses for individuals who want to come down and learn about that industry. And finally, we'll be assisting with event incubation. It's very important that the island stays relevant and in the future that we have events on the island that will attract new tourists and also new retirees to come and enjoy what we have to offer. All very exciting for the hospitality management program here at USCB. We want to learn more about the involvement with the RBC Heritage, so let's speak with the two professors and get a little bit more about all the exciting things happening at USCB. Dr. Salazar is the professor in charge of the research here at USCB. Let's talk about that research and really how it benefits our area. Well, we've been collecting visitor data and event data for the last six, seven years, and we've been uh, collecting at various events throughout Hilton Head Island as well as Beaufort County. Uh, for example, a couple years ago, we actually collected the uh, information at the Heritage Golf Tournament, uh, exploring where visitors were coming from, their points of origin, how much they were spending in the area, and from that, survey we were able to glean that there was an over an 80 million dollar impact, economic impact on the community. And that's just part of a bigger research program where we are at more events uh, such as the Concordia Elegance, the Wine Festival, the Italian Fest, um, and where we can actually compare the heritage along with other events and, and festivals where we can have a greater sense of uh, a specific event's economic contribution compared to all the other events. But it also tells us where our, our visitors are coming from. Um, and so we can compare this data um, to point of origin data that the Chamber of Commerce might have as well. And so uh, that lends itself to more targeted, methodical um, advertising strategies, if you will, because there are certain markets that overlap. It's amazing. Great things going on here. Another aspect of your involvement with RBC Heritage is the catering. And Dr. Barth has more. Dr. Barth, how did USCB get involved with the catering at the tournament? We've actually been working with the Heritage Foundation for the last three years. Um, we got started by doing the Patriots Outpost about three years ago, and now they came to us this year and asked us if the students wanted to have a bigger part in it by doing catering and sponsor support. So exactly what does that mean? Uh, we will be assisting the caterers and the sponsors with any of their needs, from helping them get an extra bag of ice to making sure that the sponsors know where to park and actually get to their skyboxes. And how many students do you actually have involved in this in this program? Um, overall, with the catering and sponsor support, we'll have 10 students involved. Overall, USCB will have close to 40. Wow. 
That's great. Let's talk a little bit too about the Patriots Outpost. The Patriots Outpost is a great venue for both active and veteran military and their families. Uh, it provides them a location on the 16th green this year to, to kind of hang out and enjoy the tournament the way that the others get to enjoy it. And there's food and drinks and all of that is donated, correct? Yes, ma'am. It's donated by local businesses. The Skybox and all the food and beverage is, is all donated, so they just get to come and enjoy. That is awesome. Well, good luck at this year's event. Thank you. Thanks to all of the professors for their insight. If you're interested in a hospitality management program, there's never been a better time to look at USCB. To learn more, visit uscb.edu.